Hello everyone, welcome to yet another Two Minute Tuesday. This week I have another interesting tip. This one actually came from an article I read from Lisa Crosby, which I'm gonna you know link below if you want step by step instructions on how to do that. She did a great job, you know, detailing all the steps. But essentially, what we're gonna learn, and you saw obviously the title of this video, we're going to learn how to convert any multi line text field into a uh, essentially a WYSIWYG editor or a, an advanced text, let's say, editor. Um, we're going to add that control into any multiple lines of text field from any entity. Now, I've picked the contact entity because it's easy, right, to have personal notes or description. It's very common to have something like that. So obviously the idea is you go in here and you say, like, I met you know, gym, you know, before or whatever, you, you enter something in here, doesn't matter. Um, and this is where we keep, you know, some personal notes about in this case, in this case will be Jim Glenn. But the idea is, you know, we're entering just text, there's no way to color anything, there's no way to, you know, make stuff in bold to, you know, uh, accentuate some, uh, some, some text within the within the, the personal notes that we're entering in here, there's no way to add pictures or anything like that is just text and that's kind of boring so we want to make this better by adding that control so let's start the countdown and let's go so what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate into the form editor however uh, the way we add controls we actually do it from the classic form editor so I'm going to go ahead and click on that button to switch to classic and here we are on personal notes so super straightforward you can double click on the field navigate to controls add control and there it is a rich text editor control so we're going to click on that and make sure that that control is visible whether we are on the web client the phone or the tablet so i'm going to click ok save and then we're going to publish all right so as soon as it's published we're going to go check it out now it might take a few seconds for it to update obviously i mean it's applying that rich text editor control into the field so it might take a little bit uh let's go back in here let's hit refresh and see how that looks still not there still not there so let's hit refresh again let's see mm, crossing fingers on this one we're doing this live no editor no editing whatsoever on this video Okay, and finally, there it is. So only twice we had to refresh, and you can see that the personal note was kept. It's just that it looks a little bit different because the font was added. But now look, check this out. Ball, I, I can uh, add that. Let me expand this. I can go and uh, change colors, for example. If I don't like that color, let me give it a super cool orange color, my favorite color. There it is. I met Jim before. And obviously, you can add you can add pictures and stuff. You can go from a website or from you know uh, browse into a file. It gives you a preview and stuff but it adds the pictures right into the field now this is super simple right we're just typing in personal notes but imagine the potential for this the fact that you could have a field and let's say paste a bunch of pictures or maybe you know enter some urls in here and just uh inline and you know this is one of the problems for example with you know cases where you have you know uh, an email for example coming in to create a case and grabbing the body of that email and pasting it into the field it adds all of those html you know uh verbiage in there and it's hard to read so this allows you to convert an existing or a brand new multiple lines of text field into a rich text editor i hope you enjoy the tip this week and we'll see you next week